me today is our lovely guest, is Debbie Hudson, a business and executive coach who is in demand as an inspirational and motivational speaker. I work with uh, business owners up and down the UK, helping them create a life and business that they absolutely love. Because fundamentally, you cannot build a business if you are not right. You know, people will build businesses, but they can get to a level in their business where they're not sustaining the business because they're not right. So it's first and foremost about the belief, the belief that A, they can do it, and B, that they can make a success of their business. To build a sustainable business, it takes time and it takes effort and there are no shortcuts. Um, to develop yourself, it takes time and it takes consistent effort. There are no shortcuts. And what you see a lot of the time is that business owners are so entrenched, stuck in the business, that they're not having that head up time to invest in themselves. It's fundamentally understanding what are your motives for action. Money is just the result of an action. It's, as, it's making sure that you're taking the right actions within your business to get that end result. I don't think people understand success. It depends what the definition of success is to you. For me, the defini success, definition of success is really simple. And um, I think you know, you've heard Brad talk about this before. It's to be better to tomorrow than I was today. At the end of the day, I will say this over and over again, one size doesn't fit all. And your mind can be made up with all of the beliefs and experiences that you've had in your, lifestyle, in your lifetime. But the question you have to ask yourself is, is that serving you? First and foremost, you need to be looking at your marketing. And your marketing starts with you. So how are you being perceived out there in the marketplace? The second thing is looking at your strategy. So what strategies have you in place? One, to invest in yourself and take care of yourself and have that emotional mastery. And then looking at your business intelligence, so that business mastery. The, the third part of the template then will be looking at the sales. How are you making your sales? And teaching people the art of selling, the art of not selling to sell. Because when you're running your own business, at the end of the day, your fundamental needs at the beginning are to pay those bills. You've quite often exchanged a job for a business, which is what I did, and you've exchanged a job for a business, so there is that expectation that that job, that business now needs to meet the salary that you had when you were in the job. So they're under pressure. And when you first start something, you're looking for those quick ways. It's like dieting, it's like getting fit. You're looking for the quick ways. And the reality is you have to shift that mindset to understand your business requires three things. Truth, always be honest with yourself and your clients. Discipline, you have to be disciplined and consistent in everything that you do and strategy. You need to have a plan in place. You need to know what those processes are, but they need to be aligned to your values. You have to understand, and I keep hammering on about this, running your own business is a different mindset. It's a different kettle of fish. It's not nine to five. You know, some people might think that they can open the doors in the morning and then close the doors at night. It doesn't work that way. When you're in business, you're running your life. Your business is your life. The two emerged. So this myth about work-life balance, that's for people in jobs. So, the thing that I encourage people in business is to look at your influence. One, from how you're being influenced in your business. Two, how you're being influenced in your outside relationships at home. And three, the other influences that you're taking in from the books you're reading, the TV you're watching, etc. That influence needs to be something that actually is helping you subtly move forward in life and not derailing you from where you are. Hi, I'm Debbie Huxton and I'm a business coach. I help businesses align themselves to their highest values and purpose. I'd like to ask you a question. If you knew today was your last day on this earth, what would you do differently? And if that was the case, that you would change something because you knew your expiry date, then why aren't you living that life now? Did you wake up today, Monday morning, and feel thrilled about the fact that it was Monday? Or did you wake up thinking about all of the overwhelm you've got ahead of you? If you did, then what are you going to do to change it? Why are you choosing to live a life that is creating that overwhelm? Is it time for you to make a change? And you can, you can make those changes because you have all of those resources, all of those skills inside you to do so. You can start by making a decision. Do you want to make a change? If the answer is yes, then you need to go away and you need to start applying all of the things that you've learned, that you have and that you know about in your life. 
go and find yourself a mentor, a coach, somebody that can help you, somebody that can support you, somebody that can guide you to live your fullest potential. Go away and start looking at your self-care and understand that for you to run your business, you need to be at peak performance. If you're not mentally with your head in the game, your business is going to struggle and you are going to suffer. And the most important thing is to understand that you are enough. You can do this.